Morning, lovely viewer. Well, I've got one for you today. As many of you will know, this is Rose Amadeus, a Cordes Rose. I planted it last year, and um, it's a rain repellent rose. I witnessed it firsthand last year. It shrugged off many thunderstorms, torrential rain downpours, and it didn't bat an eyelid. But what I wanted to do today was show you how water repellent it is. I've got a 12 litre uh, watering can here, filled up, and I'm gonna empty it onto this rose. This is the first rose that's flowered. And we're gonna see what happens. Now, it could be that this watering can is gonna destroy that rose. I appreciate that. It may well happen. I was gonna do this video live, but I'm not doing it live because it might take a few minutes to, to recover. So I'm gonna start pouring this watering can onto this rose and we'll see what we'll see what happens. It needs to be a bit better supported. And I'm getting a sore arm. Oh, I'm getting a sore arm. Right, that was a heavy watering can, and we have to change hands. As the judge, judge said to the bishop. Like I say, it might take a few minutes to recover. That's why I'm not doing it live. And it may be that this does this rose, this flower, doesn't survive this downpour. But I think you can all agree that the amount of water that this rose has seen already is going to be a flood. If it rained this much, the whole country would be would be flooded. But I'm pouring it direct. Oh, I'm getting cramp again in my hand. You know what? That is three quarters of that watering can. And I'm gonna shake this off. And I'm gonna, I mean, look at that. That is, that is nothing. That is nothing. In fact, I don't even, I don't even need to, I don't even need to leave that. That is, that is good as gold. That was a lot of water that's, that's gone through that. And I'm pretty sure if I was to try that on another rose, it would have been washed out already. Well, lovely viewer, it's, um, it's no more than 10 minutes since that manipulated downpour. You can see some of the, the rain has started to dry up, but 10 minutes later, and um, I think you can see there is, there is not a mark on this rose, it started to open up again. That top petal there is starting to open up of its own accord. So I'm I'm really happy with that. Now, I was considering the watering cans there poised, doing the same test on Rose Gertrude, but that would just be sacrilege because I think we all know exactly what would happen to Gertrude. So I'm not going to do that. But I have got a number of. Um, weather resistant roses in my garden. As you can see, I live in a, a very exposed area. We get more than our fair share of rain and it's um, it's something that is important to me in my garden. Now, Rose Leonardo da Vinci, they say, I've read that um, this is another rose that doesn't mind a bit of rain. Snow Princess is another rose. They, can, they say can be weather resistant. The timeless collection that I have there can put up with a bit of rain. Um, Eden Climbing Rose and um, Dark Desire, Graffin Diane or Royal Parfumer, wherever you are in the world, they say that, that these roses, they can withstand a bit of rain. I'll put them to the test in a similar way that I've, I've just done here, because I think it, it's something that, it's certainly important for me and it might be important for you as well. But I think you'll all agree that, um, that Rose Amadeus 
it has it has passed this test with uh, with flying colours. Right, lovely viewer. I hope you have a lovely day.